Hi. Okay, here's a question on bearings. In the exam, students did find this difficult. Just remember everything you know about bearings and just keep your head um, clear and it will be fine for you. You have two towns, A and B. Here is a formula for working out the bearing of A from B. So basically, it's giving you a formula of working out this bearing here. Okay? Now, just before you sort of, you know, to overthink this too much and use a formula. Let's just think how we would work out that bearing. If we know that's 55, okay, we know this one must be 180 subtract 55. Yes, it must be 180 subtract 55. Um, or in particular, if this angle here is F, then this angle here would be 180 subtract F, right? And if we were to work out this angle here, it must be, I'll do it in a different colour pen, it must be 360 degrees, take away this number, or 360, subtract 80 minus F, which actually turns out to be 180 plus F, which is where that formula comes from. Okay, so it, let's not sort of overcomplicate things. Um, we could have got that ourselves. Another way of doing it, let me just make this absolutely clear, another way of doing it. These lines are parallel here. Agreed? So therefore, um, by, because they're parallel, these are Z angles, so this angle here must be also equal to F. So therefore, this whole bearing, this whole one here, must be 180, the straight line, plus F. Okay, that's where that formula comes from. Now, you're not asked to prove this or anything like that. However, we could have got that ourselves without a formula complicating matters. So use the diagram to work at, and the formula to work out the bearing of A from B. Now, the bearing uh, in this question, F is equal to 55. Therefore, the bearing T must be 55 plus 180 using this formula here, which is therefore equal to 235. Give a reason why the formula can only be used for when F is between 0 and 180 degrees. Well, just think about this. If F was bigger than 180, okay, 180 plus something bigger than it would be over 360. So this is so that, so that uh, T is between 0 and 360. Otherwise, it would be more than 360. The bearing of C, uh, uh, of C from D is 342. Work out the bearing of D from C. So this is a, a, a totally sort of different question going on here. We are told that the bearing of C from D is, is 342. So let's just draw it out here. This is D. And we're told that the bearing of C from D is 342. So it's... Something like that. Always draw yourself a little picture. There, C. So this whole angle here is equal to 342. Work out the bearing of D from C. So what is basically this bearing here? Well, clearly, this whole angle adds up to 360. So this must be equal to uh, 18. And this must be 180. Subtract 18, which would be 162 degrees. And we're done. OK, and, you know, th that's that. This question tried to overcomplicate bearings and confuse you, but actually forget about what they're telling you. You could have got these answers without the formula and just thinking for yourself.